Welcome back, everybody, to another Taskmaster Challenge here on Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. This one is a true challenge. I think I'm probably going to get completely wrecked, especially since the HGG rule, as we have affectionately come to call it, is in place for this one. Uh, here's how it works. We're a uh, British battlecruiser with 1920 tech up against a battleship and three heavy cruisers from Germany with 1940 tech. The fastest person to sink all German ships without using deck-mounted torpedoes is the winner. If none of us manage that, then the admiral who kills the German ships the fastest with the use of deck-mounted torpedoes is the winner. If none of us manage that, then the admiral who is able to stay afloat the longest is the winner. All right, here we go. So here's the deal. I have no confidence whatsoever in my ability to duke it out with him uh, with my guns. I mean, I, the best I can probably do is get six or eight guns on this thing that are going to be woefully inadequate for taking on the fleet that I'm facing. So I'm just going to just throw out the idea right off the bat of being able to kill all these ships without deck-mounted torpedoes. Now, that may cost me winning this challenge, but I wouldn't be History Guy Gaming if I didn't try to go the meme ship route with this thing. Uh, so at least I'll, I'll hopefully give myself a chance to sink all the ships uh, without using guns. So uh, if anybody does sink the ship with uh, with guns and not using deck-mounted torpedoes, good for them. They deserve every bit of winning this challenge this week. I don't expect to be able to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for the opportunity to sink all of the ships my way. I would guess that will at least guarantee that I won't get last. Um, so we're going to throw a couple of a couple of 9-inch guns on this thing to meet our requirement. And then we're going to max out as much as we can on protection. To try and stay alive long enough. To be able to do this so I had started building with the guns and I just decided nah it's, it's just not gonna happen so 20 inch torpedoes is what we want rangefinder irrelevant in fact let's not even put a rangefinder on this thing and then it's all about those torps let's get some four fours on here I'm just gonna kind of mix them up So we'll probably have to put these things on barbettes. Standard barbette. Is that what I wanted? Standard, yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, we're over on weight already. Darn it. Was it the barbettes? Yeah, those things are crazy heavy. That's not going to be able to do. Oh, we could stick side guns on this thing instead. For our mains. There we go. That works. Alright, so we've got fours. Now let's get some threes, because these all reload at different speeds. That's why I like having the different makeups on these, because then I'll almost always have something that's ready to fire. I'm watching weight. I'm actually almost maxed out on weight. I think that's probably enough. In fact, I probably have too many. I'd really rather... be able to um, throw some armor on this thing a little bit just to keep me alive long enough to do do the job. Not going to worry too much about deck. I wanted to get some belt armor on this thing, but uh, I don't know. What's my engine efficiency is only 87%. What if we drop some speed? Let's go down to, I don't know, 40 knots. Let's 
That gets us 100% engine efficiency. I'm going to charge right at him. So we're going to get some belt armor on this thing. It's not going to make a huge difference. But it will help. We just got to avoid the plunging fire at the beginning. And hope he doesn't hit a turret directly and cause a magazine explosion. Uh, all we have is fast and standard torpedoes. I'd rather keep the standard and keep the range. And go to Barbette 4. Not that it matters a whole lot. Let's get at least a little... No, nah, even Anti-Torpedo 1 is crazy high. So that's not an option. All right, I think that's about where we are. Let's put a little bit more deck armor on this thing. All right, let's try that. All right, here we go. So to start, this is all about avoiding the big hits while I try to close range. So we're going to turn to the north and hope we can narrow that 20 kilometer gap as quickly as possible without any big plunging hits on my deck. I don't want to get hooded right off the bat. You can see his battleship's already firing on me. All right, let's close the angle. He's probably going to have, I don't know, 14, 15, 16 inch guns. I need those hitting my belt armor and not my deck. Oh, there's two hits already from nine inch guns. Those are the, that's the heavy cruisers. Let me turn my angle toward the battleship. There's another nine inch hit. And another. And I still haven't even spotted his ships. I'm just spotting all the fire coming in my direction. It's like driving into a snowstorm. There we go, we spotted his battleship. Let's turn off the torpedoes for now. I don't want to fire them until I've got a good chance of hitting them. Because I'm going to have to make these count. Of course, I don't know if his ships are going to have battleship, or uh, if they're going to have torpedoes or not. That could be a problem for me. It doesn't matter how good my belt armor is to protect against his guns if I get nailed with a bunch of torpedoes. Okay, let's slow down. Oh boy, there's the first big hit from a 15 inch gun. Hit my extended deck. Basically the thinnest part of my armor. Actually, if I could fire the torpedoes at him long ways, that'd be ideal. It'd be harder for him to avoid and if I miss one maybe I hit the second one all right I'm gonna try to get in closer here ooh that hurt normal torpedoes in the water he might be getting torpedoes in the water too I gotta be careful and watch for that oh he's gonna he's just gonna turn Th those are gonna be worthless torpedoes Ugh. I wish boy I desperately wish that they would give us manual aim on the torpedoes because I definitely would not have fired them at that angle I would have gone this way and now I've got to wait till they all reload start turning around. Oh, I just got hammered again. Well, you know what? Maybe those torpedoes that missed their intended target eh, I think Siegfried's probably going to get the angle on him. I was going to say maybe they'll hit him, but it doesn't appear that way.
Let's see. Any chance at all? Nope. Just gonna miss. That would have been nice. This is why I've got to, unfortunately, get in super close to have any chance at all with these torpedoes because they can just maneuver too quickly. I wonder if I can get down here, get away from that battleship, maybe put, maybe spread his ships out a little bit so he can't concentrate so much fire on me. Oh, my flooding. I'm down to 56% structural. turn here before he nails my broadside some more. Alright, so they're a little more spread out, but it looks like they're coming back around. Yeah, I feel like I'm just still too far away. Okay. Hit them. Get them now before they start turning. Actually, they're already turning. Forget that. I'm going to fire at the Siegfried. Go. Because maybe if we don't hit him, we hit one of these other ones that's coming into that same area. Or they go all the way over there. Yeah. Pummeled, and none of my torpedoes have hit anything. Oh, there we go. Hello, sir. Is that enough? I think it might be. Flash fire. Oh, yeah, we got you. Bye bye. All right, well, at least we got something. Those torpedoes are all going to be behind Kaiser and Augusta. All right, let's cut back around this way now. Oh boy. Um, we might get one here. Yep, we're going to get one hit. Getting some more in the water. Ouch, that hurt. got a decent amount of flooding on them but it's not enough and he'll start pumping that out before I can get more torpedoes on him I'm afraid yeah see the minute I fire he starts turning the other way Ugh. what a mess
Ouch. Every time I put torpedoes in the water, he changes. I mean, he's he's got the got the zigzag down. The second my torpedoes hit the water, he turns the other direction. Every time. Although, surprise, surprise, Siegfried got nailed by one. Didn't do hardly any damage, though. That time we caught him at the beginning of a turn. but then he's turning again. Darn. He just... He's just going back and forth. I have no chance to hit him with torpedoes. Unless I'm right up next to him. Alright, so let's do that. Turn the torpedoes off. Go straight at him. Give him no chance to turn. Get to a place where he can't avoid him. Like right here. Come on, baby. What are we waiting on? Fire those torpedoes. There we go. That's a single, though. That's underwater tubes. Why aren't my triples firing? Oh, those are the doubles. There they go. Alright, we got you. You're done. Oh, I didn't need that many. I could have saved those. I was about to fire those on the other side. Darn it. Overkill on the Kaiser and Augusta. All right, well, at least I sank two. Bye-bye. You're done. That's 16 torpedoes. I think 17. I think that's enough. This this guy, they're going to miss altogether. I'm down to just... Uh, I don't think I've got enough torpedoes to even do this. I've got to go for the battleship now. We'll turn these off. All right, well, at least we sank two. And we're surviving a decent amount of time. I mean, it's only been 40 minutes so far. But considering how close range I am with a battle cruiser, with him having 20 years of technology on me, I'll take it. Ugh. Go ahead and drop some torpedoes on first Bismarck, even though it wasn't ideally what I wanted to do. I can at least get a couple of these underwater deck torpedoes. Or under underwater torpedo tubes on him.
Yeah, you're not avoiding all of those. Not sure I'm going to sink him with those, but at least we'll get, what, two hits maybe? No, only one. Darn it. Uh, I'm almost gone. Down to 10% structural. Only going 17 knots, and now he's going to have a field day shooting at me. Ouch. What happened? Did I hit him again? I didn't see another torpedo hit him, but he suddenly started registering all kinds of damage. All right, let's get a forward-facing torpedo tube on him. Only chance we've got of hitting him is if he can't maneuver, which it looks like he still can to a degree. Yep. Staying alive, staying alive. I'm down. Uh, I'm down to just 14 torpedoes. No way I've got enough to finish off the battleship. That leaves me nine. And those are going to miss. Oh, what a terrible shot. You had him point blank range and you shot behind him? Ugh. Not enough torpedoes to do the job. I can't sink the battleship with nine inch guns. Let's at least take out all the cruisers, I guess. I'm down to just 4% structural anyway. Alright, last chance. Here it comes. Although he's going to turn. Oh, I should not have fired those torpedoes. That was stupid. Not at that angle. Should have waited until I was right up alongside him. The problem is I can't maneuver. I've only got 11 knots of speed. I can't catch up to him even if I wanted to. I think that's going to do it. Well, that was fun. Make sure you guys check out everybody else's videos. Um, I'm, I'm sure somebody did much better than I did. Just hoping I didn't come in last. At least I sank two, sank two heavy cruisers. Got some damage on the third. Probably if I replayed this, I could, I could see a scenario where I could win using this ship with these tactics. I'd just have to get some luck. I'd have to wait a little longer to get alongside him to fire some of my torpedoes so I didn't have so many bad torpedo shots that just missed everything. Maybe add a couple single torpedo tubes on the side. Down to 0.6% structural damage available we got three torpedoes left they're the underwater tubes that's it alright drop a like if you would we'll see you again next week with another challenge thanks for watching